Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Bakery once again. Today we're making one of the classics and my personal favourites. We're making apple crumble, but we're going to do a really simple version. So, let's get started. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is get started on our crumble mix. So you want to add in some plain flour. We're going to add in some white sugar. And some brown sugar. And that brown sugar will give our crumble this beautiful caramelly flavour. I just want to put in just a touch of some cinnamon. And of course we're going to add in just some softened butter. Now using your hands, make sure they're clean obviously, just grab the mixture and pinch the flour with the butter. Okay, just get it all mixed up and then just start pinching that flour into the butter, just like that. And what we want is some fine breadcrumbs. So guys, that's what you're after, just this beautiful golden crumbs, just like that. Right, put that aside and we'll get started on our apples. Now guys, like I said, this is the super, super easy version of a apple crumble and we're going to cheat a little and use pie apples, okay? You can buy these in the supermarkets, they're already in the tin and they're really good. Now if you wanted to do the old fashioned way and stew your apples, go for it. It's easy, all you have to do is put the apples into a saucepan with a little bit of water or apple juice and stew them down until they're nice and soft. But if you don't have the time, go for this. So we are going to tart up our apples somewhat because they are a little boring the way they are. So what I want you to do is add some nutmeg to them, some more cinnamon, and some more brown sugar. And like I said before, that brown sugar on the apples will really give them a nice caramelization. And just give it a good stir. So into a baking tray, I'm just going to pour in our apple mix. And then of course I'm going to pour over our crumble mix. Now guys, one thing I hate when people make apple crumbles is they don't put enough crumble. There's always just this really thin layer of crumble on the top. I always make mine just as thick as the apple part. So it's almost like half and half. Okay guys, so that now goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees and we're going to pop it in there for 15 to 20 minutes or until that top is just beautiful and golden brown. Keep watching it, make sure it doesn't burn and this bad boy will be awesome. There you have it guys, my version, my really quick simple version of the apple crumble. So let's give this a try. Now of course you would serve this with some ice cream or some sort of custard, but just as it is, I love it. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Oh. That is gorgeous. It is so creamy. It really is that butter is just melting through your mouth. All the spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, they're working. That beautiful caramelly flavour from the brown sugar and that nice crunchiness of the crumble. Awesome. As always guys, the ingredients are below. Check it out and give this a try. You take care and I'll see you here next week on Nico's Bakery.